Um, I think just execution. Um, obviously, we were able to run the football. Um, that was big. That's a really good defensive line. And the uh, O-line stepped up, and we were able to run it down there. And um, uh, we, we found a way to get in the end zone. And when you get in the end zone, you get points on the board. Uh, now it's about cleaning up the turnovers. I think if we can do that, uh, we can start hitting our stride. Uh, I mean, I don't, I, I'm hoping that he didn't intentionally, I don't think he really intentionally tried to hit me in the throat. I think he was trying to just push me in the chest there, and he's taller than me. So um, I, I, threw the, I threw the pick. I don't know if I was fired up from that or if I was fired up because I threw my second pick and it kind of hurt our defense there in that situation. And so um, we, we, we continue to just make strides in the right direction, but at the same time we make those, these mistakes, especially me. And so um, we're winning football games, which is awesome, but we're, we're going to try to continue to get better. When you on that same vein, when you ran for the touchdown, when you no, I was just, I actually was not trying to like lower my shoulder. I was trying to like t absorb the hit. I knew I was going to be right in the end, of, right there in the end zone. And um, that dad bod, man, just uh, had enough weight on me where he, he, he went down. So it wasn't like I was necessarily trying to like seek out contact. I was trying to absorb it um, and get in the end zone and just ended up looking good for me. The last time I lowered my shoulder was against Iowa State, and I had an AC sprain, and then Iowa State beat me by like 55, 56 points, so I, I've stayed away from that. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, I was actually going to, I was, was stopping and was going to try to just get the first down, and I, I haven't seen the play, but the dude either overran or kind of got a little bit of uh, a block there, and so once I got down the sideline, it opened up, and I was able to get down there, and um, I thought about cutting it back, but I'll, I'll save that for the playoffs. And then uh, right now, I'm going to just continue to run out of bounds. What's the benefit of playing these games at high level of intensity? Yeah, I think it's just you get the best of the best, and that, that, that prepares you for the playoffs. Um, I think that's, that's the, the biggest thing is it's obviously fun to win, win and score a lot of points. Um, but whenever you play these high, high tense moments uh, against the great teams in the NFL, you see where you're at. Um, and uh, we were able to find ways to, to get a win today. Our defense just continues to play um, special, honestly. And um, offensively, we're able to run the ball and find a way to get in the end zone. Um, but I think we can get so much better. Um, and so we're going to continue to work at that and uh, try to continue to get better as the season goes on. You played, you played against, uh, I know you don't do a lot against the ones during the week, but Chris Roland Wallace um, has not been the ones. I assume you played against He's a, he's a good football player. He's been been like that since uh, training camp, and um, you can see it. Some guys just have it. You can see it from day one, and he's gotten better and better. You can tell he really listens to Spags, to Coach Merritt, um, to all the coaches um, and the players. And so he sits there and he listens to Trent talk, and he's gotten better and better each and every week. And um, he, he stepped up today, and whenever his number was called, and I think it was like two rookies got interceptions, if I'm right. So it was, it was cool to see those guys get in the game and, and make plays. Patrick, you guys are 6-0. Go ahead. You guys are 6 but nothing seems like it's come easily for you all. Is that frustrating, or does it make it that much more rewarding when you're able to find different ways to win? Um, I don't want to say it doesn't come easily because we're winning games against good teams by a good amount of points, and that, that's that's as easy as it, I mean that's that, you, that's easy for the NFL, but. Um, I just don't think it's normal for what you've seen from us because there's not a lot of passing touchdowns. There's been a lot of turnovers, especially by me. Um, and so I think it's just showing the versatility of our team. It's not just about me. It's not just about um, the stats and the light show and stuff like that. It's about playing team football. Um, and uh, I believe that if I, we continue to work, we'll get better offensively throwing the ball down the field. Um, but until then, it's, it's nice to know that we have a great running game. we got a great defense. Um, and we're able to execute whenever uh, the time comes to win football games. Um, the first one, uh, the guy was open. Jody was open on the slant. It was going to be a catch and tackle, trying to just gain some back because we were in second along. D line made a good play. He got, he got his hands up, knocked it up in there, and made a pick. Um, and then the second one um, was just trying to go to my matchup with Xavier. And obviously, you saw the feet got tangled up there, and, and he, he ended up losing his, uh, losing his balance and falling down. And that guy made a good play. I mean, it's, I felt like in today's, in the interceptions, I was going to the right direction and the right spot. Just you get unlucky sometimes. But um, I got I to gotta still clean it up. And that's stuff I have to work on. And there's too many interceptions spots um, and so in order for us to even take another step it's gonna be about me taking care of the football um, scoring those touchdowns in the red zone like we did today and then letting our defense really eat and letting Spags be Spags. It seemed pretty chippy overall today in a lot of ways. I, I wonder if on the on the touchdown it looked like you had something to say. Are we gonna hear you on mic up with like you woke up the wrong gentleman? <laughs>
I think I just said, I hope I scored a touchdown. Uh, so it was, uh, I, I got pretty hyped up there just because it was fourth down and got in the end zone in a big moment. Um, but I don't remember exactly. How similar was that to the uh, Super Bowl? Similar motion, um, a different play, uh, but a similar motion just by, based off how they, they guard the motions. And um, I wish when I look back on it, because uh, I kind of threw it, and then my, my next read was coming across the field. I think he was wide open. So I, 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 he slipped, and he was going to be open, and it's not there. It's just about finding a way to reset back, get to your next read, and I might still be able to throw a touchdown, even though we didn't exact, show it exactly how it was drawn up.